We have the pop top version of the range line and it has this nice vent which is great in the summer because it provides a lot of ventilation. But what I've noticed is most of the airflow noise seems to be coming in right around the vent. Also it's transparent, lets light in and sometimes you don't want that. And it could stand to be insulated because a lot of heat is going to go out of there in the winter. This should be a fairly simple project. What I bought is this little kit off of Amazon. Uh, it's a thin insulated cover. It's made to fit exactly the right size as the vent in the roof. And it has high strength magnets, corresponding magnets that you mount in the frame, but you can also mount it with Velcro if you want. In order to mount it, you just have to remove the four screws at the corners and the black trim comes right. Now with the trim off, you can see that it's just really open space up in here. There's a little bit of insulation, but not a lot. And so I definitely want to fill that up with more insulation. Um, help deaden the sound quite a bit. And also prevent any air leaking. This wasn't screwed terribly tightly, and so I'm sure there's lots of air gaps and ways for the air to leak up and around. So looking at the uh, assembly here, you can see what we're going to do take these high strength magnets, just mount them on the inside of the frame here, glue them down, and then the vent will stick to those magnets, and hopefully we won't need to use the Velcro. Okay, so here's one of the high strength magnets. So what we're going to do is find, oh, there it is, <laughs> so you can see where the magnet is in the trim. And so if we mount this magnet on the same spot on the inside here, oh, <laughs> A little too strong. So if we mount the magnet on the same spot right here, on the inside of the trim, it will uh, lock to the it will lock to the uh, cover and hold it in place. What I'm going to use to attach it here is this uh, double-sided 3M sticky tape. It's supposed to be permanent. I don't know that it needs to hold it down particularly strongly because the magnets themselves will kind of self-adjust to where they need to be based on the cover below. Okay, so here's one of the little magnets. I have cut a strip of the adhesive to the appropriate length and now I will just stick it down. Alright, now we just peel off the little sticky back like that. And now the double-sided sticky tape should hold it. I'll let it self-center on the magnet and then press it down. Now we've got all of the magnets mounted and uh, they appear to hold it on. So uh, we'll go ahead and screw it back up and see if this thing sticks. Alright, we got it all back together. Let's see if this thing works. Ah. Seems to stick on reasonably well. We'll see how it holds while it's driving. <laughs>